from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is the Anderson Pens Podcast. Welcome to Anderson Pens Podcast, episode 430 for Thursday, March 10th, 2022. This week, we've got nothing. Just kidding. <laughs> we've got banter, news updates, my ink of the week, new pens from Pilot, new inks from Sailor, a contest winner, a new contest, plus items from Twisby and Penlux that are coming soon. Hey, Eric. Hey, Brian, what's going on? You know, I've been receiving celery in the mail. In the mail? Yeah, it's crazy. Who's sending you celery? I don't know, but I think I'm being stalked. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, it's me. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know why chefs always use butter? It's better for you? No, although it it could be. Could be. They, uh, I have to remember the punchline now. (laughs) There's no margarine for error. There's no margarine for error. (laughs) Intro, please. I just realized something. I'm on the air. Yes. (laughs) Your last name is what? Anderson. The name on the, on the window is? Anderson Penn. Are you in a relation? I am in a relation. (laughs) So this is your store. It is. Oh, I had no idea. Just down the street. Yes. I'm going to say a few blocks. A few. I don't know how many. That's our location bumper this week. It is the Fox Cities Performing Arts Center, also known as... The PAC. The PAC. People call it PAC. Big building. Big building. Yes, big building. It's actually got two theaters in it. I did not know that. I've only seen one of the theaters, and it's the larger of the two, the one that has 5,000 square feet just for the stage, plus can seat 2,100 people. Um, yep. Home to Broadway Across America and the Fox Valley Symphony Orchestra, the center has hosted the Wisconsin premieres of Broadway shows such as The Lion King, The Producers, Wicked, Jersey Boys, Billy Elliot, Les Miserables, and Kinky Boots. Kinky Boots. And we're going nice. there. Yes, we are. Next it's coming month. up soon, isn't it? Yeah. The 4th of April. It, well, that's coming up soon. Yeah. What are we going to see? Who's Live. Who's anyway. Live Anyway, which is a, a take on Whose Line Who's Is Line It Anyway. Is it anyway? Yep. And I think we're looking forward to it. I think it's going to be great. I hope so. Good time. Uh, moving on to Ingo Rimo. It's past, but you weren't here last week, so I didn't get a chance to ask you. How'd you do? Uh, I'm still in the running. In the running. Yes, I'm mailing out my cards. And are we allowed to talk about that yet? Uh, well, we can talk about it. Well, you're doing something special with these cards. I, I, I sent out a card a day. I'm sending out a card a day to Lisa with a letter for a puzzle. Oh. And then she has to put the cards in the correct order to create the, oh. the phrase. So. Is it something, does it say something that she can photograph and we can share? <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> you were in Chicago last week. I was in Chicago. What, did you break? I broke nothing. Nothing. Wow. Nothing. I'm nothing. Surprised. Did you fix anything? Uh, I think the, phone, the phone, the phone. We had this two-week drama with the phone, and, uh, and we finally got it. Finally got it working. So, and that was ridiculous. It was beyond ridiculous. The, the phone was cut by AT and T accidentally, and it took them two weeks to get it back yeah. up. Yeah, they, they they flipped a switch, and then they couldn't flip. They it couldn't back flip on. it back. I don't know enough to understand that. In fact, we had two phone numbers, intermediary phone numbers, before we got our original one back. But it, everything's working. Everything's now. good. Everything's now. Yes. Now. Good. Speaking of Chicago. I have a note here that the Kennedys will be at the Chicago, yes. your, your Chicago store. Yes. I have it on April 30th. That sounds about right. It's a That's Saturday. A Saturday. Yep. What are they going to do there? Who are the Kennedys? Uh, Kennedys, uh, Mike and Linda Kennedy. Uh, Linda has uh, studied with Richard Binder extensively, and she grinds nibs, uh, tunes nibs. And Mike uh, is um, a pen repair guy, and he's amazing. And so the two of them can fix your pen, they can grind your nib, do whatever uh, whatever needs to be done right there in the store. I've seen them at pen shows, yes. so they're going to set up a table, mm-hmm. I assume, just like they do at a pen show, yep. and you can go there with your your pens that need repair, or some tune-up, yep. or a little grinding. Yep. Uh, and they'll be there, I assume, all day on Saturday. Yes, we don't have the details okay. fully worked out just we'll yet, but continue we to remind people yep. and provide details as they become available. Another note here says that you are going to be, you personally will be yes. at the Chicago Pen Show, the Thursday and Friday of the Pen Show, which is April 28th and 29th. What are you going to be doing at the Pen Show? So I, I'm going as uh, essentially as a weekend trader. Okay. Uh, I may or may not, uh, depending on what happens, uh, have a table 
Uh, if I do, it will be uh, vintage Japanese pens primarily. Okay. Um, but uh, I'm primarily going. I'm going to see some friends, uh, buy some parts, and uh, meet some new friends. Meet some new friends. But is, this is not where you've got five tables and tables. No, no, okay. no. I, I, I'm not really thinking I'm going to display anything at all, but I may have stuff with me. So, so you're really going because you like pen shows. Well, you know. Yeah, who doesn't like pen shows? <laughs> I will, I, I will I have some. I, I, are you going to go? Probably we're not going to go till the Saturday. Oh, okay. Though, so okay. is that the Saturday that the Kennedys will be? Yeah, so that's that's Saturday. why that's okay. why I'm I'm not going to be there Saturdays gotcha. because I'm going to be going oh, into gotcha. into the city. So yeah, I imagine I'll be there on Saturday. I will have some uh, some cool vintage, really super cool vintage personal. Uh, not pens. if I see it. For, oh, personal pen. Yeah. Oh. Oh, this just, is going to be interesting. Just 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 for show and tell. So just for show. Oh, just for show and tell. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I, I not for know. sale. So you're going to be at the pen show, yes. maybe with a table, with some of your vintage pens for show and tell. Yes. I have sat through some of that in your living room, and this is really amazing <laughs> stuff. It's fun. It's very fun, because you know the history, and you know this and that, and you've got lots of little details about pens that make them even more interesting. Yes, so I, I, find, I, find the, I find the vintage stuff really fascinating. So Yeah, it's a passion for you, and it shows. And it shows. Speaking of passions... Do you know what a biffy is? <laughs> it's not a joke. It's not a joke. B i f f y. It's a real thing. I have no idea. What is a biffy? Do you know? Is this, this a new social media this, app? Yeah, it sounds like it should be. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you should biffy that. <laughs> There's a, a a town, a city, a village, in Wisconsin called Beloit. Okay. Yes. And that's way south on the border, a little bit west. Kind of in the middle of the state, okay. but right on the border with Illinois. And in this town of Beloit, they have an annual event called the Beloit International oh. Film Festival. Yes. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because our very own Justin, who is behind the camera, just this past weekend, he made a movie. Yes. And it was entered in this film festival. Have you seen the movie? I have seen the movie. Have you? Yeah, okay. It is not available to the general public yet. It's still in the film circuit. Okay. Uh, you'll get to see it someday. Great. Um, but his movie... Won Best Regional Short. Congratulations to Congratulations. Justin. He got uh, uh, the award and everything. Nice. It's very nice, very nice. And I just wanted to mention that because we're now working with a award an winning, award-winning filmmaker. The Biffy. The it's a Biffy. <laughs> it's a Biffy. And that's why he makes us look so good. He's got, he's got the skills and the talent. We can be there. We can say we were there. We were there. In the beginning. Maybe not the beginning. When he's, <laughs> when, when he's doing his you know Star Wars episode 74 or something. 74. So, yeah, I just wanted to say congratulations yes, to the man behind the, ca the camera. Uh, speaking of films, um, I wanted to bring up YouTube because last Friday, last Friday on YouTube, we released Lisa's top five pens under $100. Yes. I filmed that with her. You uh, got them almost all right. Of course I did. I think I got them all right. <laughs> Yesterday, Wednesday, we released Steph's top five turquoise inks. Okay. And I picked my favorite. Tomorrow... Friday, we're releasing Lisa's top five under $200. And we just filmed your top five under $200. Yes. We filmed Again. something for me, too. <laughs> oh, I did my top three under 50. Yeah. Yes. And this right here. Uh, reminder that 20% uh, off all Faber-Castell pens and bottled ink uh, through the end of this month. So, so we're March, getting down to the nitty-gritty Yes, here. we're getting down just to the Just a couple of weeks left. And uh, this week, I actually... Brought a bottle of the ink with me. This is cobalt blue. No, it's turquoise. turquoise. And it's just gorgeous. It but nice. the bottle is why I love this ink. Yes. And we should mention again, this is the bottle you use for shellac. Because yes. Because we cannot mention this bottle without saying That's, that. It's a fantastic use for it. Okay. I, I have, since I use that, I've never tipped over a bottle of shellac ever. And this is 75? Yes. yes. It's, it's a large amount of ink and... Great deal on sale, and there's a pen that you like. I know this, you I, 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 I'm, I'm a big fan of this model, the Ambition. Uh, this is the Walnut, and boy, is that nice. It's beautiful. Um, they also have pear. There's a there. pear wood, which is also very popular, which is a little bit more orange. Uh, nice uh, Faber-Castell steel nib. They're very nice. International cartridge converter. Um, does post. As I recall, you wanted that to be in one of your, you wanted that as one of your top five under 100, and I had to say, excuse me. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of, I kind of blew the budget by not, a not quite there, but twenty dollars. It's really close to a hundred now. Yeah, with the twenty is, off because this it's, is really nice. These are nice. Pens. I think it's the twenty off is like twenty six dollars off, so it's so, just above the hundred dollars. It's, it's, it's not fat. It's if you like a thinner pen, 
it's nice. Um, I like the design, the look, uh, yeah. the sleekness mm -hmm. of Graf. It's it's like a, it's like a mini Graf. Is what it yeah, looks it like. looks like a Graf. Who makes it? Faber. Not Graf. Not Graf. It's, no. but it's Faber. But it's Faber the same stuff. people. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Speaking of ink. Oh, geez. My ink of the week. That's nice. Was actually chosen for me okay. by the man behind the camera, our award-winning award -winning? filmmaker. Uh, it's Diamine Classic Green, and I Look like at that. it. I am not a huge fan of green. Is that a little sheen I see almost? What color do you think the sheen Looks is? It's like it's reddish. Reddish? I reddish thought it was a browns. black. I thought it was a black sheen, okay. but it's only in the very heaviest of places. But it's just really easy on the eyes. Yeah. And it doesn't scream spring green at me. Mm -hmm. It reminds me a bit of Epinard. Oh, sure. Yeah. And also reminds me, it's probably a completely different color, but looking at it pleases my eyes as much as... A long time ago, Mont Blanc had uh, Jonathan Swift, I think. Oh, which yeah, was a, yep. like a seaweed green, and mm -hmm. it was a green that I really. Yeah, this liked. looks kind of mossy. It's it's mossy and and probably the best handprint I've done yet. So That's I, nice. <laughs> I'm finally maybe getting a hang of it, and I should report. Oh, by the way, diamond bottle. I should report that the lava soap really does a really good does job. a good job. Okay. Good job. I also had a a, a fingernail brush mm -hmm. that I ordered with the lava soap, but. Good stuff. So good, I think we should carry it. How do you organize a space party? You plan it. This just in. Huh. I got ink. What'd you get? Uh, I've got Arizona. I've got South Dakota. South Dakota is the purplish, and that is the coral colored. Yeah. Uh, and they just got here since last week because... Lisa yeah. and I talked about them, but we didn't have the bottles. I love these bottles. Yeah, the cute little, little cubes. Little cube, I yep. call them ice cubes. They're easy to get open, too, with the, with the way the cap is designed. Yeah, they're, they're grabbable. Grabbable, and they stay in your hand. Um, come in a nice little uh, box. I should mention that these, although it looks like an ink studio, doesn't have the little labels in there. For you. I, would, so I was just looking for it, but it does have a little, little card that says what uh, the How they was, came yeah. up with the color. Oh, well, I can, I can tell you that. South Dakota, which is the one I have, is a gentle purplish pink that is both easy to read and in broader nibs can reveal orchid-colored tones. I have to see that. Rich color is inspired by the eye-catching South Dakota state gemstone, the Rose Quartz, and the untamed skies and sprawling hills at sunset. Your Arizona ink is a bright coral orange color designed to reflect the awe-inspiring warm colors found in Antelope Canyon, which is located in north-central Arizona. Antelope Canyon is also a pen by Cross. Yes. It's one of their volumes. It is, ones. yes. And it has those orange colors on it. Oh, that would be a good combination, wouldn't it? Yeah, we should try that. We should, we should try that and send it to Lisa, because she likes those. <laughs> what have you got? I have... The Pilot Custom Heritage SE. So these are finally in. Finally here. Uh, beautiful. Um, the first batch that came in um, a little bit small, but there are more coming in uh, within the next month. Uh, vibrant marbled colors available in red, orange, green, blue, and black. Uh, each pen is one of a kind because no two marblings are exactly the same. Comes with ink cartridge and a Con 70 converter and includes a, a number five uh, 14 karat nib in finer medium, and it's uh, rhodium plated. Rhodium plated. I like the trim. I like the marbling. I am a little disappointed that the orange one sold before I could get here and look at them. I, I barely got a chance to see it. So you did see it. I, I did see it uh, before it, before it got packaged up, but uh, I really like these marbled. Uh, the red one is is very nice. Yes, the red one is very nice. Blue. I don't know if I like the blue or the teal better. Well, I could the make a deal on both. Yeah. Would you like to? Yeah. <laughs> Keep different inks, get different nibs. One fine, so, one medium. It's got the cool sword clip like all the Heritage do. Yeah, they're very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I cannot wait to see the orange one. Yeah, the orange pops. That would actually be a good, yeah. good color for that. Well, that's but, the thing about the orange. It, it caught my eyes when I wanted to see it. We didn't get we didn't get our full shipment, believe it or not. And um, more, and, and nobody did. Nobody in the country did. So uh, more will be coming. But these aren't... The they're not like going to limit. They're not these. limited. Yeah, no, they're, this no. is part of the lineup now. So, so I will eventually see the orange oh, one. Oh yeah, I yeah. will perhaps eventually own the orange one. But the blue one's kind of nice too. Yeah, I don't know. This, fact, this teal's got my eye. Well, now that you lovely. called it teal. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I guess they. What do they call? It? They call it they green. Call it green. It looks more teal it's, to it's me. More teal. It's more teal. 
Yeah, these are very, very nice. And it comes with the converter. Would you use the converter in this or the cartridge? Uh, I don't mind the Con 70. Okay. The, the Con 70 has got decent capacity, so. So that's what we're looking for, right? Yep. Decent capacity. I finally got around to watching that documentary on clocks. It was about time. Mr. Anderson. Yes. You were not here last week. I was not. You were off gallivanting That's in Chicago, correct. so you don't know that I asked for the contest. I'm looking for a purple ink, a personal use purple ink, and I just asked for recommendations okay. to enter the contest to win a $20 gift certificate credit to your Anderson Pens account, and I was So let, let me get, this, let me get this straight. Yes? You, yes. You, you used your uh, company time for your own personal gain. Absolutely. Okay. But what a conversation. And, and, gave my, and giving money away on top of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Yes, yeah. okay. Just want to make sure. We're on the same page. I'll give you a Girl Scout cookie. <laughs> oh. Anyway, uh, the audience uh, came through. We got 88 recommendations oh. for Purple Inks, and 62 of those were unique wow. recommendations. Uh, yeah, okay. So this is a lot of Purple Inks that I have to go through. I have not chosen... Uh, well, I'm not going to choose one. I'm going to choose. You're going to choose I'm one. Gonna, well, I'm gonna, I won't look at them all. Six. I'm going to try to look at them all. Narrow it down to and six. Narrow it down. There was one ink that got the most votes of a single ink, and even that was only six votes, and hmm. that is Hiroshizuku Murasaki Shikibu, wow. which we kind of like here. We yeah. like it on the funny farm uh, in creative because we like Shikibu. Well, you know, Steph. Yes. You can't say that without, without laughing. Anyway, yeah. um, thank you all very much for these recommendations. Uh, it's a nice list to choose from. I, I, I brought the list. I won't read it to you, but it's a nice long okay. list. Um, Marie Blauvelt said, that My new favorite is Herbon Violet Boreal, a rare full bottle splurge for me, but I think it fits your criteria, Eric. And I brought this because you know it's a serious... It's a serious ink when you buy a full bottle. Yes. I try not yeah. to buy full bottles until I'm really sure about it. So I thought that was high praise, and I'm going to check that one out. Uh, uh, another commenter known by E, and it wasn't me, <laughs> says, Mont Blanc Lavender Purple, no other reason to use any other quote-unquote purple ink. I read that, I, I usually read all the comments out to Steph, so because we do the calculations mm -hmm. of how many votes and and she keeps me honest for who, uh, picking a random winner and steph said i actually have a bottle of that and so i've okay. scored a sample of wow. mont blanc lavender purple okay and mecky bassy or bassy said hi eric for purple ink try monteverdi wisdom tasha murasaki or diamine grape and i have pointed this out because i don't think monteverdi inks get the attention they deserve they have 30 milliliters ten dollars it's mm -hmm. almost a very healthy sample yep. you can get quite a few of those and wisdom is a very nice purple is it's it? a very nice yep. purple but i also picked a, a, a winner at random okay uh, the the name of the random winner for this week's 20 dollar gift certificate credit to your anderson pens account is drum roll drum roll please arabella holz apfel holz apfel that's a wood apple by the way who said I was going to suggest Hiroshizuku Murasaki Shigibu, told you it's popular, and Kobe number 18, but they're both already, they've both already been nominated. I haven't used it yet, but I just put Graf on Faber Castell Violet Blue in my cart. It's on sale. Mm. Maybe that's purple enough for you. Uh, maybe it is. I'll check it out. Awesome. Um, congratulations. Arabelle, congratulations. Write to me, Eric, at andersonpens.com, and we'll take care of your $20 credit to your Anderson Pens account. But we also have a new contest. Great. This is more of a, as a community, we're going to share information. Okay. I just want, in honor of our award-winning filmmaker behind the camera, just comment below and tell me what your favorite movie is. Do you have a favorite movie? I know it's very hard to, I could probably narrow it down to two. Yeah, um, I would say Shawshank Redemption. That's is probably going to be a one of the two. One. Um, they gotta throw a Clint Eastwood movie in there somewhere, probably. Do you? Um, do you really have to? <laughs> Gran Torino was a great movie. People like that movie. That's a yeah, great movie. Like that movie. So that's the contest. Just share uh, your favorite movie or a couple of them uh, in the comments below, and you'll be entered to win the random drawing for twenty dollars gift certificate to Anderson Penn's home of the award-winning filmmaker behind the camera. What do you think? I think it's fantastic. Okay. 
I did mention that there are a couple of things coming soon, right? Yes. The first one is the Penlux Masterpiece Delgado Uploa. Uploa. What is a Uploa? Uploa. <laughs> well, first of all, <laughs> we're not sure that's the correct pronunciation. Okay. <laughs> but it's uh, apparently a butterfly. Okay. Um, we are variously calling it Euphoria, Euripides, Eurythmic. Euphemism, <laughs> whatever words. EU word we can come okay, up with, okay. until we're absolutely positive that it's Uploa. Uh, it's it's a pretty pen. Yes, uh, yeah, I like, uh, the, I like in this In the one. picture. Yes. Uh, because that's all we've seen so far. But it does have the butterfly there and mm -hmm. something flowing behind it. The pictures really make pens look nice. Yeah, they do a good job. Uh, this, of course, is a Delgado. So compared to the Grande, it's a, a little smaller and lighter in weight. It's made from high-grade acrylic. Piston filling, which I like. Mm -hmm. It has a Jovo number no. six gold plated stainless steel nib in fine, medium, broad, and a 1.1 stub. Uh, it's also available with a 14 karat flex nib or an 18 karat non flex nib. But those are special orders. Special order, yeah. Um, and these might be here kind of quickly. Yeah, they should be here any, any day. Any day. Any so day. maybe by the next podcast, we'll actually have uh, them. Hopefully. And, and, and we'll just figure out again how to say them. <laughs> maybe we'll know by then. You plur. They're beautiful, though. They look real nice. A little oh. purple in there. Uh, what I really like, is they're nice, sh it's the shapes, but the piston mm -hmm. filling mechanism is what I like. And the price point is and, off yes, the charts, yeah. Yes, that's a very good, the Delgado is slightly cheaper than the Grande, yes. but even the Grande is not No, but this this is expensive. a little bit thinner, uh, a little more tapered barrel. It's, 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 I don't want to say it's more usable, but it's, you know, the Grande is a big pen. Yes, it is. It's oversized, pen. so this is a more usable everyday pen. And I can't wait to see this one. You blow up. But you have something about Twisby. Yes, there's a new swipe coming. And what's it called? Pear green. Pear green. Pear green. So this is just really in time for spring. Cool color. So, of course, it's a cartridge converter. Uh, it comes with the ink cartridge, a twist piston, and the spring loaded piston converter. So you get all, all of those options. Uh, it has an ink window. A clear grip section, it's a snap cap, uh, and the number four size nib in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and 1.1 stub. Uh, we're doing pre-sale on March 16th and shipping on March 18th. So this is typical Twisby because they, they tell us about the pens, mm -hmm. they ship everybody the pens, and then we're allowed to pre-sell them. And then yep. a couple of days after that, we're actually allowed to ship them. Yes. So this pre-sale <clears throat> starts on the 16th, uh, and then we'll ship... Any that have been sold on the 18th. Yep. Um, Which means in-store customers can can actually buy them. I mean, they can they can buy them, but you can't take them home until right. the 18th. You have to come back and pick yes. it up on. Yes. It's probably so, a Friday. It usually yeah. works that way. Um, a nice color for spring. Yes. It's and, nice. And I like the swipe. Uh, it does hold a lot of ink, and they give you all three of that. Yes. Uh, cartridge and two two converters. And it has a it has a bigger a bigger capacity uh, cartridge right. the, and the converter too. It's a little wider. They don't actually fit, even though they have an international opening. They won't fit other international pens. They f probably fit. Oh no, they don't fit at all. They they, they won't fit, fit because they're, they're they're too chunky. But the opening is international size, so you can put your any other international your Graf in the cartridges swat. or okay. whatever it will fit in there. But uh, if you use theirs, they're they're mega. They're they're big. Right, so the the opening on the cartridge and the converters are, international. are international. They fit in the swipe, but the body of these things are is larger for a yes. higher ink capacity. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and that'll be here soon as well. Yes. Probably next week. Probably. We're going to have things in our hot little hands. It's going to be fun. Just next week. Um, that's all I have. What about you? I think that's it. Okay. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more Talk About Pens, Ink, and Paper. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens, and there's apparently a store in Chicago. There is a store in Chicago, ground floor of the Palmer House Hilton, open seven days a week. You'll see Lisa there. Lisa's usually there, except when you're there. Except when I'm there. Sometimes the Kennedys are there. Yes, that's, they're coming that's up soon. April 30th. Um, do they have a website? Chicago.AndersonPens.com. Oh. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye.